I am. Uh, did you just call him JoJo? No, I said I'm not. I'm not the. Um, I'm not the stand that you think I am. Is that from JoJo? Okay. <laughs> Anyways, I'm getting sorry. into this game. All right, uh, yeah. So we we are gonna be having the We Fit versus the Rob. And there are a couple things about this matchup that do make it really difficult. It's the fact that I have heard John himself describe Rob as a zoner that beats zoners. Mm -hmm. Between the gyro and that laser beam that is transcendent, that goes through, like, everything in existence. I'm surprised it bounces off the walls and doesn't go straight through mm -hmm. them. Uh, but that's something that normally makes life very difficult for John, especially if he tries to slow down the match like this. I mean, for sure, and we know John to struggle with slowing down the match, but the thing is, I definitely love the way that John's playing a little bit now. Like, he's getting a little, a little, a little you know, aggressive. Am I wrong? He is, like, but that was the sort of thing where he managed to get Dill in that one disadvantage, mm -hmm. and once that happens, you know, Rob is a big boy, definitely has options in disadvantage, but... Is Rob uh, a boy? Wait, Rob is a they. Rob is a robot. Uh, it's, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> I'm just being extra. Anyways, I, I prefer to think of his, um, of his bottom as a kilt. Oh. And uh, kilts are worn Who by... <laughs> I am... Uh, I'm done? And oh. so is Dill, because that forward air is actually going to be taking the stock. Numbers, you know, that forward air, one of the bi really big utility parts of it, is as an anti-air callout. And mm. normally that can be difficult to do against Rob, but as we see, it works out for him right in that instance. And that means that he has a stock lead that perhaps he can play to. We'll see. I mean, for sure. And the thing is, this is so far out of John Numbers' comfort that it's just like, look at this. When have you ever seen play John Numbers play aggressive to this extent? Like, I definitely love it, though, because they've definitely been, you know, really moving around Dill and just moving around the hitbox that is Nair and just really trying to juggle. But, oh, oh my, living that and so crazy. And Not, he's God, still sorry. alive. Oh, man, look oh at that threatening. Oh, that was so good. The floating out right there, using that upbeat to stall for infinity, managing to get the perfect timing and Dill. Evening up the stocks here, still about taking 85%. So, you know, not not it's not the cleanest response, mm -hmm. but nonetheless, this means that now he can start just playing how he wants to, putting on all of this pressure. Aggressive, you know, tactics himself seem to be working out here as John Numbers, but trapped at the ledge, 53% already dished out. And that's the first time I've seen mm -hmm. John get a little bit of control in the last 30 seconds, probably. I'm going to be completely honest. I feel like it's going to go on right now is that we're going to see Dill just completely reverse this. If I'm going to be completely honest, we've seen situations where she will be in this very bad spot. She was down two stocks against Suarez and still brought it back. And look, John is not in the lead anymore. I may be calling it out hard, but I think she has this because we've seen her just completely reverse this game, completely just take out John's stock and just it's what lead John had anymore. You saw he had a lead. I don't know what lead might be talking about, but it's, uh, it's ancient history. It's, not, it's, it's history at this point. Um, but for sure, this is just really, you know, might be a little bit heartbreaking. I'm be completely I mean, we'll see because John, you know, he does always have that comeback potential himself with deep breathing being such a powerful tool. Uh, he needs to be taking this stock immediately, though. And oh no, trapped in between Rob and a gyro. I'm surprised we didn't see the barrage of down tilts come out. But mm -hmm. I think that's because Dill is really trying to look for perhaps a bigger play. Uh, and with that evening up, you know, this is definitely going to be rough for numbers. But I definitely, I don't know. I, I'm kind of thinking that numbers might be able to run this back. A single opening with deep breathing at low percent could lead to huge amounts of damage. Ooh, Ooh, and that extended the hitbox too. That so was smart. period. But looking at this, this is looking like a hill to climb for John. I mean, already at 108%. This is absolutely terrifying. Did you see the way he used the tumble animation from We Fit to dodge the laser? Oh my god. That's it so was crazy. so sneaky. It was so sneaky. Uh, but, yeah, this is where things are looking rough. And this is where that anti-zoning game starts to... You really start to see how bad it can be for Wii Fit. Uh, but then again, one single opening. Ooh! Ooh, deep breathing. I, I, You know, you were deep very breathing. confident just a moment ago, but I don't know! That... Oh! Ooh. Good mash! That forward tilt absolutely would have done the deed. 
but we actually have this super last hit situation. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is scary. Gotta oh. be real careful. Getting that upper, not gonna do too much. Yeah, she needs to land, and she needs to land very safely. Oh yeah, and here's a possible ledge trap. It can be so hard doing that against Rob. With all of the stall in the world, though, Dill still forced Ooh! off stage, taking it. What were you saying about Dill being able to just take that game? I don't know. It's, I don't know. Uh, but, uh, but, uh, you didn't. You cannot tell me she she was bringing it back a little bit. Just. <laughs> No, there was uh, definitely, don't forget, there was a point in that match where Dill was at like 12 and Numbers was at 100 on the last stock. That absolutely was kind of Dill's game to lose. I mean, the way that she lost it was Numbers just managed to get in. Like, look at all, you, you just look at the amount of damage that was done in what felt like the blink of an eye. And once it got to that point, Numbers was able to play to that fear mm -hmm. that Dill was, you know, kind of being trapped at the ledge. You notice the stall that she was doing. She was definitely... Hold on, because I'm so sorry to cut you off, but we have to talk about that stall. She was looking like Bale in a sense, because Bale has such good stall. She was just using a lot of her up B to be able to fare to up there to throw a hitbox so that John is scared to actually do anything. Those are two moves that can just completely reverse that whole entire game. It could have, but Numbers knows the potential. And for that very reason, oh my god. All right, okay. We, I, I would love to talk more about that last game, but look at how this second game has started. 63% right out of the gate onto Dill. And oh. Man, this is the sort of thing where numbers might be able to leverage that lead into, you know, forcing Dill to approach. Ooh, okay, that nice cheeky uh, jump uh, um, back here, trying to get yeah. out of that situation right there. And we're just gonna grab Gyro and just use it to land, but it don't matter if you're just getting a side B straight to the face, not gonna kill just yet. However, we are in a situation here, aren't we? We are in a predicament. Yeah, no, this is looking really rough for numbers. It's a good job avoiding that downer. That Rob downer is, even though Wii Fit has all of the options, great amount of drift on the upbeat, great stall potential herself. Ooh! Ah! <laughs> you missed your tech! What did you think was gonna happen? Maybe she just like drops it. I don't know. That could have been a helpful situation, but this is the queen we have right here. She's not dropping nothing. Oh, yeah. She might have dropped her crown like a few times, but she put it right back on. What you talking about? <laughs> Oh, well, it looks like we're having a <laughs> quick act of regicide because numbers just taking that stock criminally early. That was at like a hundred, I think. I was under a hundred on Rob at mid stage. I mean, listen, the crown just slipped. It was it was just slightly <laughs> off. However, I just just maybe she's she already has him at sixty four percent. What do you yeah. mean? Yeah. <laughs> no, this is I would definitely say that Dill is still in control right now. But oh, we already have seen that with even with a percent lead, Numbers Ooh. has the potential to run things back. You know, a great job using the uh, the deep breathing there actually as a baiting tool. Ooh. And oh, 70 and back up. That's so crazy. That's so crazy. Oh my god, and I definitely love the way that John actually uses, you know, the um, cancelling deep breathing to get out of a lot of situations, you know, just intentionally, but look at this right here, this is so scary. Did the, this wi did the gyro get pushed back because of uh, Sun Salutation's mm -hmm. wind box? Yep, that's so silly. It, it is. Oh! Oh my god, that's so crazy! She, she, snipe. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that was a deep snipe, too. That wasn't mm. like, you know, a, a low-risk snipe going all the way for it. Definitely paying off hugely for Dill. And, oh, oh, and the trade, the trade. And that deep breathing sun salutation still not enough to do it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I definitely, I just love this stalling. Dill is so good at just taking her tools just all together and making it seem like she doesn't have a disadvantage. Like, she's super good at it, and, you know, like, it's just so amazing how she actually uses it and getting that up there. Gonna get that second up there, and you're done. You're, yeah. you're done. And you mentioned before how stalling at the ledge when you're off stage like that has the potential of having these brutal reversals. And game one, Numbers respected it. Numbers was on the ledge and waited for Dilla to get there. That time around, though, he just a little bit too hungry, mm. and look at the price he had to pay. I mean, that was definitely a price. Made a deal with the devil. Did not pray to the house of 3,000 like you should have. Mm-mm. 
the, we're tea up in here. I don't know. <laughs> have, have him make it tea. Uh, mm -hmm. Prayers to house uh, can be yep. expressed in the form of subbing. Yes. Uh, sub to house, guys. And Macharino. Type out the mission for Macharino. Oh, yeah. There's oh. sad Kirby. Yeah. Cheer him up with dollars. Why would you want Kirby to be sad? What? Don't make Kirby sad. Don't make Kirby cry. Don't make Kirby cry. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Literally, like, that makes my heart sad. And you know what also makes my heart sad? We're back on FD. And I don't think Dill actually minds FD because she just won on that stage. Like, what is, I, what is, what is an FD I, I, to, a, to a big All three games robot? have been on FD, correct? Oh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> oh. both players have I mean, one on this stage. I think that is the potential for uh, it, it's even in that regard. But um, I'm going to be completely honest. I can definitely understand why because people would think that this is a stage that Rob struggles on. We know that Zamba has a lot of issues with actually landing, but this isn't an issue that Dill has. She's amazing with getting back to stage, getting off of stage. I mean, getting off ledge, and just like just making it seem like a oh, Rob doesn't have an issue at all. And just look at this. I, I mean. She has 80%. That, why did that do, like, 12%? Excuse me? 94% already? What's going on? Oh, man. All of this damage means that Dill... You know, you were talking about how she was having no problem landing, but Numbers has adapted, and I would say that that is no longer the case. FD paying dividends with no platforms, nowhere else to retreat to, and she responds and takes 62 without a... Like, in the blink of an eye, like... Oh, and it just oh grows. Oh, my God! We can see a two stock lead. That would have been, oh my God. Gonna get this combo going on 60%, trying oh. to kill off of here. This could be a little bit scary for John, but it doesn't matter because John is gonna get grabbed again, right back off stage. Yeah. And that nice call out on that deep breathing from Dill right there, that oh. was so amazing. I love that high recovery from numbers, oh. knowing that Dill was gonna do another one of those little stalls to follow him, but high recovery is oh. the answer right there trying to catch him as he comes out of the ground, but a quick match from Dill. He keeps her out of danger. This is the sort of thing where if Dill Ooh! drops this stock first, numbers with a two-stock lead, that's the sort of thing that, oh, I don't oh know if Dill God. even could recover from. Listen. Uh, <laughs> I'm surprised Dash Attack didn't hit Rob right there. I mean, but we just saw a second ago where um, John actually used the Dash Attack to actually get under, you know, D um, Rob back air and actually um, extend the hitbox, but it don't matter because that down air is going to end your life. It's going to end that stock and you back at zero, and this is scary. No. Don't tell me that's going to kill. It, again, back air? No, absolutely not. We're going to get this, you know, Lush Hop situation going on. Not going to kill off that back air, but this is really scary. If oh, yeah. John doesn't take this stock off, this is going to be so horrible. And Dill is just being super aggressive and making sure John doesn't have any time to breathe because this is what Dill needs. She needs to get that grab, send them right back off stage, and gonna get that backer, not gonna kill. However, look at this. <gasps> From across Ooh. the planet, still able to survive. Dylan 185 trapped at the sledge, and oh that time around, God. the bravery from numbers that could have definitely turned around on him. We've already seen how it can, but this now means that he does have that stock lead. But, oh man. Let me tell you. Dill's advantage was looking feisty. She was oh, looking like man. she was going hard. She was throwing them them robot hands. However, I'm going to be completely honest. If she doesn't get one of those advantages in again, we're going to be seeing an issue. 70% oh, yeah. already. Oh. Not even going to get that back air. You thought that was a frame chop? I don't think so. Back oh. throw. Miss times the punish on that neutral getup, and now Numbers is going to be trapped at the ledge, forced to recover low, but still not actually able to punish it. And all of a sudden, looking at 111%, and Numbers has an entire stock to fall back on. I don't know the record between these two, but definitely it's Dill's favor. Numbers about to make what is, you know, at the very least, Ooh. an upset for himself here. Oh my god, no! That might be it! And there it is, not no! enough! Oh my god, this is so crazy! And don't forget, if Dill actually does manage to take this stock, she has out those low percent Rob combos. Oh! That's the sort of thing we might see right now. Gyro uh -uh. in hand. Oh, trying to bait numbers to the ledge, but she has to be so careful because any hit from numbers could probably do her in. Oh my god, this is entirely terrifying. Not gonna get that there. 169%. Dill is. Oh! 
And there God, is. that's so crazy. Yeah, and that's once more. FD coming into play. Dill did not want to get rid of that gyro, knowing that that gyro was probably her one path to victory. But the cost of that is that, you know, kind of limited her options and numbers went up there to meet her, putting her oh, into loser's bracket as numbers manages to move on into winner semis. That was so good from both of these players. I... Oh, yeah. Whew. We gonna have to take a breather at that one because that was so crazy. Yeah. That was so crazy. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at this. Just crazy. Gonna try and recover. And what you thought... Trying to trying to stall. Dash Ooh, is, you, still stall. I... Did we see forward up air come out here? He, no, it was um, actually... Um, it was... Um, laser that came out when she was trying to on stall um okay but got that blaster got that kill and yo look at this, this wait did she still have gyro yeah she still had gyro and yeah i guess she was like, actually running out of um out of fuel there oh yeah it was getting yeah, into like it was, orange it was, territory ew, that was crazy and i don't even think if she aired out she would have been she would have to land on stage right there and that could have led up for an even more type of situation where john could have just like frame trapped her and then just like gone but wait up.